Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mine here, and I just wanted to make uh, this video because I just got done finishing watching the episode, uh, the 14th episode, which is called Ozymandias, I think, uh, of Breaking Bad, and oh my god, shit, just like, complete crazy episode. This is one of the, I mean, this just completely changed the story, and major spoilers for anyone who hasn't watched it, go and watch it. That was insane. Uh, basically, man. So we left off with a shootout, and uh, which I thought I find kind of thought was stupid because I mean you had eight people pointing guns at Hank and uh, Gomez. So when you think they die, but I guess for the I think they should have just ended it like blacked it before anyone shot, or blacked it and you heard a shot like the end of season three. Uh, because I don't think it was realistic that they could have survived. But in this episode, they died and. You know, I kind of, like, I was against Hank, like, oh yeah, you can just kill him. But, I mean, in this episode, man, they really made me feel bad for him. Like, before he died, it was just, Jesus Christ, Hank's death was uh, crazy, and Gomez died. I loved that guy. Well, I mean, I, I just liked him, I don't know. And then, <laughs> oh my god. So then, um, and I can't believe Walt did this. I think he th thinks it was Jesse's fault that, uh, Hank and Gomez died, which I mean is kind of true, but still, oh my god, um, because he's just, I mean, Jesse, and Jesse, I feel so terrible for Jesse, I mean, they just, they, they, they have him, and they're, they, uh, they, uh, I mean, Hank was just, I mean, um, sorry, Walt was just so cruel to Jesse, like, he literally was just like, alright, take him back, torture him for the information about the DEA, and then kill him. Like, he didn't care, and then he, like, came up to him and was like, oh, by the way, I, uh, killed your girlfriend, so just letting you know. I, uh, watched her die and didn't do anything about it. And so then, now he's pretty much a slave cooking meth with, uh, Todd, I guess. Oh, uh, man, Todd, what a, what a dickhead. And, uh, and I guess he's his slave now, kind of, and, and they have, I'm assuming they have his girlfriend and her kid, because... Uh, the last thing you see of Jesse is they have a picture of uh, his old girlfriend and Brock. Uh, so, yeah, man. What a terrible, terrible fate. I'm so glad this wasn't the finale. Because if it was, this was the finale, uh, I mean, I would have just... Like, Jesus Christ. It could have been the finale. I'm so glad it wasn't, though. But anyway, um... So then we have... Walt goes back and, uh... And they tell, um... Walt Jr. everything, and Skyler, like, kind of goes back on the Hank side, because, uh, Marie thinks, Marie doesn't know that Hank's dead, so Marie thinks that Hank's still alive, so she goes up and she tells Skyler when they tell, uh, Walt Jr., but then they find out Walt's still alive, and, uh, Walt, and then basically Skyler, like, goes against Walt, even though he wants to leave with all of them, and I don't know why he didn't just sit him down and tell him the story of what happened. I don't know why, it, it was probably because... Like, they still, like, wouldn't respect him, they wouldn't go with him, but, uh, so he takes, so we'll take Holly after the fight, and, uh, in between, uh, him and Skyler, and leaves with him, and then that call that he, uh, gives to Skyler, I think was to help them, because I think he was just trying to be, like, as cruel as he can, because, um, he just wanted, wanted to make sure that, uh, Skyler and Walt Jr. were protected from the police when he left. Then he leaves, uh, he just wants her fate to be okay, even though I hate him. So, he leaves Holly, uh, uh, at the fire station so that they'll take him back to them. And he goes with that, uh, Saul's guy that, um, will give him a new life or whatever alone. And, I mean, obviously something has to happen, because there are two more episodes. I'm guessing he's probably gonna, I guess he'll, he'll, uh, stop at the last minute and he'll go and, uh, maybe he'll save Jesse, I don't know, I mean... What an insane episode. I mean, probably one of the most sad, depressing episodes ever in TV show history. I mean, if this was the finale, it would just be the most depressing finale ever. I mean, the fate of every character was awful. I mean, Skyler, Marie's life is essentially broken. Uh, Hank and Gomez are dead. Uh, Walt is like, his family's broken and everything he worked for is gone. Maybe he's going to live a life away from everyone. Skyler and Walt Jr., uh, their life is pretty much destroyed. Um, well, not completely, but, I mean, they're, they've been so demoralized by all this, and, uh, and Jesse's, he has the worst fate of them all, so, 
I mean, we'll see what happens, but, um, crazy episode. But, I mean, the story did progress, uh, a lot, so, I mean, overall, I liked the episode. Um, I mean, I liked, I, all the acting was great, everything was great. I mean, the only thing, I mean, it was almost just, the events were just so shocking that, uh, it was almost too much, um, yeah, I mean, at least there are two more episodes, we're gonna see what happens, but, uh, I mean, they, they left on such a cliffhanger, just like last week, and, uh, we're gonna have to wait an entire another week to see what happens, uh, so that's such a shame, I mean, but, man, what an insane episode. Uh, I mean, great episode, a lot of things happened, but, um, if you haven't watched it, or, well, you all have, obviously, since you're watching this, unless you don't care, but, I mean, people should be prepared to go into this, because they're going to be shocked, uh, yeah, so, hope you all enjoy this, uh, review of the 14th episode of Breaking Bad, and, uh, good night.